to the next dimension. Hey guys, this is Uncovered, it's all the way from Dan, and today I have a little bit of a gameplay commentary of a quite a new game, and quite a unique game called War Thunder. Now obviously, as you can see by the gameplay of right here, it's a World War 2, World War 1, whatever you want to call it, but it's a plain simulator in a way. It's not so much a simulator like it's fully realistic, it's more arcadey than that, but it still is kind of plain and realistic in a way. It's hard to describe, but it is a very very fun game. You go around in your planes, you shoot down other planes. It's a lot of fun and I have to say I have been really enjoying it. Now, the first part of this gameplay is me just flying around and as you can see it's got the heads up display and stuff like that. And the second part of the gameplay is the guy 61 and you'll see the massive difference with aspect ratio and stuff like that. And he just goes on a massive streak and I thought it would be really cool to put on as well. But War Thunder is one of those games where it's a lot different because I'm used to playing first person shooters, I used to play Combat Arms, Call of Duty and stuff like that, I'm used to playing those games. So going into something like this, I thought I wasn't going to like, I thought it was going to be really boring and it was just, I know, I thought I was going to quit fairly early. But actually, I have been really, really, really enjoying this game. I know a lot of other Combat Arms YouTubers as well, like Ark the Dropshot, he's been playing this game quite a lot as well and I don't blame him because this game is so much fun, so much fun. Because it's got a really, really simple way behind it. It's not like other games where it's really complex and stuff like that. It's got a very simple idea to it. You fly around in your jets, you shoot other people, you capture your objectives and stuff like that. It's easy to play, but extremely, extremely hard to master. This game, you get, you can see some really, really good people in there and they're flying around with a fully pimped out jets. And this isn't pay to win and stuff like that. This is like legitimate. You got skill, you're going to do good. It's not like, oh, you're going to pay yourself to win the game. And so, it's really easy to start playing this game and get into it. The controls are simple. When you're playing arcade, it's fairly simple as well. When you go into real life, like, I believe it's called realism, when you go into that mode, it's really difficult to play because everything's super realistic. You may wrong, make one wrong turn, everything just goes kaboom. But still, normally when you're playing it, it's pretty easy to pick up. But in order to get good at this game, like, really, really, really good, you got to soak in a lot of hours. You gotta go get the better planes. You gotta go learn all the maneuvers and stuff like that. You gotta learn how to do like dive bombing and normal bombing and shooting torpedoes and stuff like that. And this game is got a lot of complexity under the initial layer. And I have to say, I'm really, really, really enjoying it. I love the way this game presents itself. It's heaps of fun. There will be a link in the description below if you guys want to go and join up because like that's why I suggest. I suggest you guys go and join up the latest game because it is different. It's not it's something extremely different. I haven't seen anything like this. And it's free to play. Forgot to mention free to play playing game. So there's no reason not to download it at all. I absolutely love the game. You guys download it. Have a try of it too. But other than that it's undercover dudes all the way from down and out.